Good morning. Happy Sunday. I've got a bag full of dog shit in my pocket, so you're going to be hearing me every step of the way, not just the flip-flops, but the bag of dog shit. Enjoy. So, Earl put up a post, as Earl is wont to do. This time, amazingly enough, it did not link to his, in quotes, son's YouTube channel, i.e. Earl's alternate YouTube channel. In it, started off with a picture of a cop. Sleeping cop, apparently. Didn't look like a normal cop. Wasn't wearing a typical cop uniform. No badge on the shirt. So that was weird. That was different. New and exciting and fun. And then Earl says in the text accompanying the picture that uh, he found this officer sleeping in his car and he started beating on the window and he beat on the window for 10 minutes. Well, that's a lie. That, that right there, you know, is a lie. Uh, 10 minutes is a long time and beating on a window, uh, it's a long time to beat on a window. I mean, your knuckles are going to get sore. I doubt he's using his uh, cell phone to beat on the window or what have you. Uh, and if it was something hard, I'm sure 10 minutes of beating on a window would probably knock that window out or at least damage the window. But I'm calling bullshit. And then Good Samaritan Earl, Good Samaritan Earl decides to call 911 to report an unresponsive officer. 911. The, the same Good Samaritan who filmed a man drown rather than rescue him. Not that I fault him for that. He didn't have any obligation to help the drowning man. But the same Good Samaritan who, do, who filmed a man drown, decided to call 911 on an unresponsive officer. Again, I call bullshit because number one, Earl hates the police. Number two, he's not a good Samaritan. And number three, he didn't bang on the guy's window. So the Harris County Sheriff roll out. Harris County Sheriff rolls out. And they, in Earl's words, bust at Earl for abusing 911. Probably because when they, when they got there, the officer awoke quickly and was responsive and was not in a deep sleep. And because the cops and firefighters, etc., tend to take a dim view on people who abuse the 911, the emergency system. So let's look at some more some more facts. Number one, just out of the gate, doesn't it does not fucking matter if a cop is sleeping in his patrol car. I know that the auditards like to assume it's a huge gotcha moment, but we know cops sleep in their patrol cars. Guess what, kids? Firemen on their shifts sleep in the firehouse. The important thing is to have the cop out there and ready to go at some place that is convenient in his little area, in his little response zone, so that if and when there is a call, the officer is in the area to be able to respond to it. If there's nothing for the cop to do at two in the morning, then who, who the fuck cares if he sleeps? Literally no one cares. Literally no one other than the auditards care. Because what else is he going to be doing? What else would you rather have him doing, auditards? Would you rather have him out there just fucking with people? Just violating their rights? Just making up excuses to stop and detain and harass and interrogate people? You dumb fucks. So no, cops sleep. They sleep in their patrol cars. It's known. It's accepted. It is the usual. It is what we want as a people, as a nation. But this wasn't your normal circumstance, not at least according to the facts that the Earl propounded. Earl said that this guy was the assistant police chief for Hampstead, the city of Hampstead. Assistant police chief or associate police chief, 
for the city of Hampstead. Hampstead is in Waller County. Harris County Sheriff showed up. Why is that? Hmm. And this guy is the assistant or associate police chief. This isn't some patrol cop. This is, this is top brass. Why, why would Earl expect somebody like this to be active and on patrol doing something? This is the, I'm going to call your supervisor guy who probably, if he was actually at work on duty, he probably would have been at the police station because he is the assistant police chief. Just doesn't make any sense, which is why I'm assuming the Harris County Sheriff's, in quotes, bust at Earl. Because Earl, in his desire to show how the police were wasting resources, wasted resources. There's a cost associated with having police officers roll out to investigate a call. Fuel, wear and tear on the vehicles. That's that's a, a call that determines how many officers are assigned to that shift. The more calls they get, the more officers they'll assign to a shift. Costs are associated. Anyway, just in case anybody thought that that little whatever of Earl's was some sort of a gotcha moment on the police, it wasn't. It just shows that Earl is really ignorant as to what he's doing and what he's talking about. And he's using propaganda poorly to try to make a mountain out of something that isn't even a molehill. Thanks for watching. Have a great morning.